Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. In today's video, we are going to see how you can create inventory in QuickBooks Online. And not only will you learn the creation of inventory, but also on how to put the opening balances of inventory in a new company. So without further delays, let's begin our today's topic. All right, now let's update our inventory. And the inventory we have as an opening balance is four items, Corolla windscreen Civic headlights, wheel cups, and rear lights. These are the quantities, rates, and the total amounts. And if you notice, this is the exact difference that we have now uh, in the trial balance. So only this part is left. And since this is a control account, whenever we will update the individual items, with the opening balances, this figure will automatically be updated in the ledges. So let's see how we can create this item first and then put the opening balances. So I'll go to QuickBooks and click on sales and then click on products and services. Now let's click on add a product or service. Now here we have options to enter either inventory, non inventory parts, service items or burdens. Since we want to mention only inventory, select inventory. Now let's specify the details. Now let's add our first product. And that is Corolla windscreen. So I'll copy this. And I'll paste it in the name. Now, one great option of QuickBooks online version that we don't have in the QuickBooks desktop is you can also add a picture of this item or multiple items. And this option is not available in QuickBooks desktop. So let's see if I want to add a picture. Let's go to Google and write Corolla windscreen and download any picture. For example, this one, save the picture. And now let's attach it. Now the item is updated. Now there is another option of category. So if I want to mention a category, uh, let's browse it and click on add new. Now under add new, since all of these are car parts, so I'll create a new category and name it as car parts. So it will open up here, car parts, and let's save it. Now there is an other field called SKU. SKU means stock keeping unit. That means in which unit this item is measured in liters, kg, pieces, uh, per piece, what? So we have to mention here as each because all the uh, products that is large in size is not uh, measured in boxes or in weight, rather it is mentioned in each. Now initial quantity on hand we have is 40 and the date we have is, as you can see that uh, we have changed the date format. So now it's date first, then month, then year. 1st of January 2021. Doesn't pick it. Actually, it picks the slashes. Now we don't have any reorder point right now in the assignment. Inventory asset account is already set to inventory asset. So we don't need to change it. You can mention the description. Uh, with the same particulars or if you want to keep it something different then you can keep that as well sale price we don't know about it right now income account is already selected purchase information you can copy and paste the same description cost per unit is 12,000 and the expense will go in cost of sales now since all of the deals are finalized let's save and close and see how it shows up as a product or service. So there we have our first product as Corolla windscreen. Let's quickly add three more products. Go to new inventory, civic headlights, each category we have already created car parts. 
cost is 35,000 and the quantity is 10. Now let's save and close. Now before entering further products, since we have already entered two, let's see what effect does it have on the accounting chart of accounts. So I'll go to accounting and click on chart of accounts. Now let's scroll down and in inventory asset we have 830,000. 830,000 is automatically updated from the items that we have just created. So this means it is perfect. Now let's continue. Let's go to products and services and click new inventory. Suzuki wheel cups is our third product. SKU is each car parts. Now since I have only demonstrated how to add the picture, I won't be adding it now. So 40 is the quantity. And as of date is 1st of January 2021. So sometimes if you even press tab, it won't uh, finish up with this field. So you might have to manually click on it. Don't mention the reordered quantity, same description. We don't know about the sale price right now. And the cost is 250. So 250 is our cost and save and close. Finally, our last product. Let's go to inventory one more time. And Suzuki rear lights, copy and paste. It's each. Let's select it as car parts. The initial quantity is 100. And this, and paste the description. Paste it here as well. And cost, let's see the cost. Now it is preferred that you take a printout of this assignment. So it will be more convenient and you don't have to switch the windows. I switch windows just to show you um, on screen what is the read what is the quantity like this but it will be much better if you take the printout and then follow it so 600 is the total and quantity let's check one more time 100 and 600 okay now let's save and close the total inventory ledger should be updated with 900,000 as a, a total amount let's see Go to accounting and click on chart of accounts. Now let's scroll down and there we have it. Inventory asset is updated with 900,000. Perfect. So that's how you can enter inventory and their opening balances in QuickBooks Online.